Hi, okay, my name is Nicole, and um, I'm doing a quick unboxing of the October 2019 um, BoxyCharm box, uh, at least of the version that I got. There were several variations. Um, right now, I'm paying like $21 a month for it. It's a monthly subscription. I believe next month it goes up to like $24.99 or $25 a month, um, but the value is supposedly supposed to be higher. Um, so we're going to get into my box okay also i already i didn't go through it but i did already open it just so i wouldn't be fighting i'm always fighting with that sticker it's tough to open anyways all right here we go okay so the first thing um this is like, you know, how the outside of the box looks. And when you open it, the first thing we're seeing is um, this this little card. Um, I, I don't know what bigger BoxyCharm or BoxyCharm Premium is. It says it's $35 a month with $175 worth of value. Okay, I don't know. All right, so that says all of the information. When you open this, this tells you um, basically what's in the box. So we're going to go through the box. The first thing I am seeing here is it looks like Iconic London Prep Set in Glow. So this has a retail value of $29. Um, so I think this is just basically a setting, glowy type setting spray. Um, uh, it looks a little sparkly for my taste, but I'll give it a go and try it out. Um, the next thing that I'm seeing is the Iconic London. Um, it's a lip lippy, I think. On here it says it's a lip plumping gloss. So, I don't know what the flavor here is. Let's see. I believe that says sex kitten but it looks like kind of like a berry color um let's see okay the next thing in here oh uh black eyeliner pencil so um it says hollywood in vine coal crayon so this is worth seven dollars oh the iconic london lippy was worth 26 dollars so um The next thing I'm seeing is Mellow Tinted Brow Gel. It says this goes for $16. Um, all right, so that says it's the color dark brown. See, I don't know why you put stuff in this and you don't get it customized like this. I can't use this. This is a useless this turns into junk for me. It's not like you can gift eyebrow gel to people. Um, so this this is worthless and pointless. Like, I, I mean, I, I have blonde hair. I have, my eyebrows are so light you can barely see them. So why would I use dark brown? Um, that would look terrible. Anyways, moving on. The next, it looks like it's the last thing in here, is the Blushing Berries Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette it says it's five pans the retail on it is $32 um I mean okay this box isn't great I don't really like this box I'm I've been having a lot of problems with the regular boxy charm box this is actually making me not even want to do the boxy looks like I just kind of want to cancel because I feel like like I do boxy lux and it's the only time boxy charm is even like maybe a little bit worth it and uh anymore that used to be really good but it's completely suffering so um excuse the reflection so I don't oh well we're just gonna see the reflection of me 
There we go. Let's try to hold it up and see. All right. So these are the colors. Um, I mean, the one, that one is berry colored. These other ones, I wouldn't call them berry colored. I mean, that's a brown and a black and I wouldn't call this a berry colored palette, but that's cool, whatever. Um, this, I don't know that I'm gonna use this. I, I'll probably just gift it. The, it's not, it's not, it's, a, it's, it's mediocre at best. There's the names of the colors and uh, I would not pay, I would not pay $32 for that. So anyways, that's, um, I don't, my personal opinion of this box is, um, you know, this, this, like, I mean, look at that. What's the, what am I going to use out of this? I, I mean, hope, hoping that the setting spray isn't gl glittery as it looks. Um, I'm going to use that in the, the lippy because for me, it's not worth it. But, uh, I mean, to each their own, and maybe someone else gets a better version, or maybe someone gets this and likes this version. I don't really know. Um, like I said, in my experience, at least so far, their box used to be better. Then they started, um, they started Boxy Lux, and the regular box got crappy. But I held on to it because the Boxy Lux is, you know, decent. Um, but even that's not even great sometimes. Um, and now they're doing all sorts of this other stuff, which is going to make this box even crappier. So I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of done. We'll see what happens. I'll give it probably until the end of the year. I'm feeling the same way about, uh, the FabFit fun boxes right now. And I think it might be just time to find some new subscription boxes because these are not great anymore. They're kind of a waste of my money and time. So, all right. Uh, let me know your opinion. Um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, thank you for watching.